girl Kaylee Bueno here, and you guys are watching Bueno Eats. If you're new to my channel, please hit that like, subscribe, and that notification button down below so you know what's up. Like I've been saying in my channel, we do need help with donations. If you guys can help, I'll put my information up here on top. If you can please help the Bueno Eats channel, we do need help. Um, that will be awesome. Also, what I've been saying on my channel, if there's anything you guys would like to know on my channel or anything you'd like to see on my channel, please comment that down below. Now, today in this video, this is more of a trial and error type video. I mean, it came out pretty good, but today we're gonna do, um, we're gonna use banana leaves. I found some banana leaves at the local uh, Asian market that I go to. They were frozen, but they came out pretty good. I made it with some sea bass and some uh, shrimp and I wanted to show you guys how it came out and show you guys what I experienced with this and I think everyone should try it out because it was delicious. I would do it again, I just haven't had the opportunity because I did it at my parents house. So, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys my experience with using um, uh, banana leaves. So yeah, so stay tuned. Um, this is how they look. This is how it came out. It was so moist and delicious. Uh, the shrimp came out amazing. Everything came out really good. Um, I also added my little chili oil that I love to put in there that you guys, I suggest you, try, you guys should get it because it's awesome. You can find them at any local Asian market. Also, you can find some that are okay at Vons and Sprouts. But if you go, if you want this chili oil, the one that I've got, you can go to the local Asian market and they have the best ones. I'm gonna make my own chili oil and I might show you guys a video on how I make it. If you guys would like to see that, please comment down, down below. If you um, in this uh, part of the video, I'm showing you guys how an idea of how it is to take off the skin of sea bass. Um, my boyfriend is showing you because he wants to help and he fishes a lot and he likes to to like bring down fish so I let him do it for him for me since I was taking off the shrimp the shells off the shrimp I let him do this and I'm gonna show you guys how he how he's doing it he wanted to help me he likes to help me sometimes and I wanted to show him in my videos how he helps me and you know teamwork to make the dream work with the fish and this is how he took off the skin um, it's pretty simple if you just watch it closely but if you don't want to do all this you can get the pre made pre prepped uh, sea bass and just salt season it with salt and pepper like I'm showing you right here that's all you need salt and pepper I use truffle salt because we just wanted to be fancy Now, after we did that, I wanted to show you guys an egg smoker. Um, my dad just recently like redid their house and they got all kinds of like cool gadgets. My dad got like an awesome grill and an awesome egg smoker and, I, and I, we decided to do the uh, sea bass on the um, smoker. So I'm showing you guys how he turns it on. It's pretty cool, it's crazy. I never used a egg smoker until my dad has gotten one. So it was kind of a cool experience to kind of learn something from home. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how cool this thing is. We're gonna turn on the, the flame and then um, you're gonna put it at like about 300, 325 so that it's not too, too hot to over do it. You kind of want to like, let it smoke and fish doesn't really take that long to cook and, you, and it can kind of get soft pretty easy so I like 315 325 uh, have the temp at that if you guys are going to use a smoker or even you probably can even do it in the oven um, or even a low heat on a grill like if you have your flame let it get hot and let it get to like a good 300 I would suggest even trying it in the oven. If you guys should try the banana leaves in the oven, show me and let me know how it comes out. Um, you could get banana leaves in your local Asian market. I know there's a lot around. Sometimes you might have to travel a little bit. I know they're like down the street from my house, but there are a lot of Asian markets around. They're becoming very popular. So if you guys should go try go try out your local Asian market. They have all kinds of fresh fish and all kinds of good um, produce 
as well as you can also um, expand a little bit on your knowledge of cooking, especially since I love Asian food and I love Asian style seafood a lot. So I do also go there a lot of times um, to buy uh, certain products. I wiped off the banana leaves because it had some like freezer burn. I think I think it was from it being freezer burn because it was kind of white. So I just kind of wiped them off so that it come out. It came back after it dried, but I felt a little better that it was cleaned off at least the first layer. Um, so I just wiped them off. We next um, had the banana leaves because I've seen this done. You usually like um, heat up the banana leaves so that it's easier to move around. So you just kind of like kind of warm them up. Try not to um, cook them too much so they don't dry out. But um, yeah, just enough so that they move around and they're able to um, kind of be bendable. And banana leaves are kind of stiff by themselves. So you gotta kind of like warm them up so that it can be more bendable and then you can fold it because you're gonna fold it and roll it and everything. So yeah, so you gotta do this first. And then after that, I cut off the ends of the banana leaf. I ran out of, I didn't buy any string. We even ran out of banana leaf ends and decided to use cheesecloth. But this is what happens when you don't come for fully prepared. I forgot to buy a string. So um, instead, we're we just used the end of the banana leaf. It kind of left a kind of like stringy way or kind of like a, a natural string in a way so since I forgot to buy string so you just cut off the ends of it and it kind of made it look prettier it was pretty but you'll see in the end so I just cut them off and I put them on the side and then we got ready to um, put the sea bass in the banana leaf so then we got ready to um, put the sea bass in the banana leaf. So I put the sea bass, the seasoned sea bass with a salt and pepper or truffle salt and pepper. And then I added a butter at the bottom of the leaf and then I put the fish on top and then I put some more butter, about like half of a teaspoon of butter. If you wanna add more, if you want it more moist, but it's not really necessary. All the juices from the sea basses. Our sea bass is like wonderful by itself, but if you add a little bit of butter, it has a little more love. Butter is love. But anyways, you're gonna add your butter, and you're gonna need about half a teaspoon on the bottom and half a teaspoon on the top. Then you're gonna add your herbs. I did Thai basil as well as thyme. Um, you can choose any type of herb if you want anything else, but this came, went out, came out really well. So I used Thai basil and, um, and then um, thyme. And then after that, I put some crushed garlic on top. You just crush it with your knife until it like kind of bust open and then you just put it on the top because if you you can mince it but you'll still get the same amount of flavor if you just put the crushed garlic on top um, and then we just rolled it out I'm gonna show you guys how it's done right here it was pretty it was pretty hard because I think because the uh, banana leaf was frozen that it kind of caused it to tear apart. So the first couple tries, I kind of, we kind of messed up, but eventually we got it. It might have been because it was frozen or either we were just too rough with it. But I think it was because it was frozen. Um, but but it, it got, we got it, we figured it out. Um, if I can find fresh plant banana leaves, I will get them next time. But the frozen ones did, the, they, they did the job. It did it, yeah. It took some tries and I'm glad we got extra, but it took, it, we did it.
after that we wrapped it we wrapped it and then um i also did some shrimp i'm gonna show you guys in the video um i did pretty much the same thing i just added the chili garlic oil that i've been talking to you guys about that you can find at any local asian market and the one on amazon that you can find possibly you can find it on amazon too i'll put the link down below you guys should try it out it's good so i put a little salt and pepper and some of that chili and garlic oil in the shrimp and then i also put some uh thai basil and um thyme and just wrapped it up the same way and we used the string we tied it up and yeah it was pretty simple i mean it was a little bit hard we had to like look up research constantly while doing it and before doing it but it was just um i think it was worth the experience like the fish came out way more buttery um yeah it was kind of like how in a way of poaching and you kind of can have that banana flavor in in your um but it's like it's not like a nasty banana flavor it's like a nice flavor like it, it just had a really nice buttery moist flavor that was just worth it and i feel like a lot of people should try it um yeah i had fun doing it it was a little bit challenging and it was new but if i do it again it'll be probably a lot faster at it yeah i put the shrimp with the chili oil the butter and everything and we wrapped it up and it looked nice and pretty as i show you guys all through the video um yeah and then we put it in our egg smoker we also put a stone under it so that it doesn't burn it the leaves too fast if or, you know or too much heat on it and it just kind of poaches inside the banana leaf um yeah it was they only cooked for about um 15 minutes at 315 no 320 315 325 uh do it about that um yeah it was good. 3.15, do it for 15, how, how long is it? 10 to 15 minutes at 3, 3.15 or in between 3.15 and 3.25. So yeah, yeah, they cooked pretty fast. It was good, it was moist, it was delicious, it was filling. Um, yeah, I only needed one fish, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I opened it and then I put some more of that chili sauce, that chili oil in there, Woo! It was so good. It was moist, it was tender, it was delicious. Like, sea bass is already like, it, it cooks very well. Like, it's kind of hard to mess up some sea bass because the sea bass is, like, if you got sea bass, you better not mess up that sea bass on how expensive it is. Um, But yeah, it was moist, buttery, like all the flavors good. My mom said she wanted more salt, but I didn't think it really needed it. Like, I think it was perfect. But you know, everyone has their own salt intake. They like more, they like less. Um, but yeah, it was good with the chili oil, the chili garlic oil, it was so bomb. It was moist, it was delicious. Yeah, I would recommend you guys try it out. Even if you do, try it out with another fish if you want to. If you guys try them out, please send it to me on my social media. Everything is down there below. I wanna see all of what you guys have and what you guys try. Yeah, and then here's the shrimp it was so yummy my boyfriend said it was delicious i didn't get to try it out because i was so full with tasting everything while while doing it like i always am tasting and i have that chef stomach to where it's like by the time it's done i'm not even hungry and then when i'm hungry it's cold by now so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i enjoyed making it it was really fun i like doing it it was a whole new experience for me because i'd never done anything with banana leaves but yeah it was good it was really good i wish i tried it a long time ago and i hope you guys try it because it was bomb like try it but i uh, shit i might do it with some scallops or something like it was good so i hope you guys should try it out like it was good it was so good yeah i recommend i don't know being silly but yeah it was good yeah I hope you guys try it out. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my boyfriend's experience. He's gonna come out in this video because since he helped me. 
All right, champ. What you think about the banana leaf sea bass? Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Oh, now that I think about it, mm, delicious. Yeah. And uh, the Tulane sea bass and shrimp, yes? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And don't forget the crispy garlic. Can I see the crispy garlic? This stuff? Oh. Right here. Bombness. Give me, give, me, give me a close up. Give me a close up. I don't know. Can you show? You can like be like, you can give them the I little mean, small am... stuff, little little bits. Look at that. I mean, I'm giving them credit, juice. right? A little juice at the bottom. Look at that. Look at that. that right there. No, we'll open it. Oh, you gonna open it? You gonna see the great? Why we get it and why it's five thirty nine mm. per bottle? Let's see. Uh, you gotta give them a shot. It. You gotta give them a shot. Give them a shot. It's in the spill. Oh. It's worth the spill. Um, that right there is the bombness of all the foods that we've had, no matter what what Kaylee's made, that's been a part of it. Um, I think that with the Chilean sea bass and the shrimp, it just got to the core of everything. I think that the banana leaves made the fish more juicier than normal. Like it, like it made the chili oil get to it, get to it easier. It made all the, the seasonings excuse me that we put in it a lot more easier into the banana leaves without anything else so i thought it was really good it was a really good really good dish if anybody's trying to do something really simple really quick and wants to get the fish cooked well without having to do all the extra stuff it, it was an extra step but it was worth the extra step because if we would have pan fried it i think we would have lost the same amount of flavor we would have did if we didn't do the banana leaves so Try it out. She, if you feel uh, unlike us, we didn't have strings. So I, I, she was like, what do we do? I said, well, use the corners of yeah. the banana leaves. It worked. I forgot to buy the yarn. <laughs> yeah. It works. I mean, but you don't have to. it still made it look prettier. I mean, we used cheesecloth hand. I tried to like cut that off of the video. <laughs> but it was like, it worked too. I it mean. Worked. It we had to kind of like. Oh man. It was only one side though. Or did we use both sides? Of what? Of the banana leaves. I think it was just one side. Um, uh, like the string or like the ends of it? Mm-hmm. Because it was yeah. where it was able to make a string. Yeah, there was only there was only one half of it because it was the stem. It was yeah, because the stem of it. Yeah, because we ran out. And we had to use cheese cloth. So. Ooh, that was rough. <laughs> we ran out of that piece. Yeah. The, the whole experience, like I said, it was great. Uh, we know what to do next if we're gonna try it, which is yarn to keep it together. Yeah, yarn. but it still worked. <laughs> we kept it together. It still kept all the moisture inside. It still worked. It right. like it, we we don't have to, but just to be secure, you mm -hmm. can't buy some because mm -hmm. it was it it worked. If we were like stranded and we needed to make some thing with banana leaves, it would make it so much easier. To it would sure. work. Right, right, and it, it didn't burn it like everything. Like I'm, we're you were the whole time we were telling you like, take it off, take it off, take it off, and I'm like, it needs. I, I think it needs a more second. So I think understanding how much it really does cook through the banana leaves, and and it doesn't take a lot to cook it. It only takes a couple more minutes. So it, as soon as you take it out or put it in, you, you could probably just take it out as soon as the banana leaves get a little burnt on it, and it was great. Like, Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Also, enjoyed it. if you ever would do it again, um, what fish would you use? I would like to try it on, on some protein. Try it on some trout, like some lake trout. Like go to the lake real quick, catch it, and have some banana leaves on the side, I guess, <laughs> and cook it right there on the grill. See how it tastes. I wouldn't mind trying that. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so I'm glad to have you, Anthony. <laughs> Ah. To be in my video. <laughs> See you kicking off for me, man. You feel... <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you did, please hit that like button below. I would appreciate that. Much appreciated. We need people liking this channel. We need it, we need it, we need it. We're making progress here and we gotta keep going. Um, also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that like button as well. Also, if you can, subscribe, hit that notification button, everything, because you want to be a part of our crew. We would love to have you here. Um, 
yeah like i've been saying my channel we are accepting donations if you can please help us out my information is all up here please and thank you it also will be in the description bar below please help no not this yes the description bar below it will be down there so if you guys can help a girl out in her channel send a little cash that will be lovely please and thank you um also if you guys would like to see anything on my channel please don't be afraid to comment that down below i would love to hear what you guys have to say please i want to include you guys in my channel so if you guys can please tell me what you guys would like to see um also help me get more views and what you guys would like to know from me because i try pretty much everything so yeah let me know all right guys i'll see you guys next week i hope you guys enjoy the video i love you guys peace